Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today. Back on the Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty and NCAA 14. And we're going to be checking out the stats to begin today's episode. Uh, of course, no one will be on the Heisman watch for us. Uh, but if you were curious to see the race, Duke Catalan is at number one. Baker Mayfield, now a senior at number two, followed up by Demario McCall, running back for Ohio State. He drops one slot. Deshaun Watson, now a senior at number four. And of course, last year's winner, Leonard Fournette, the senior running back at number five. I have to see who ends up winning it. Looks like Duke Catalan, who dominated us in week one, or was it week two? It was our first game of the season, regardless. He was incredible. So, he might win it this year. Currently, our bowl game looks like it's going to be against Florida International in the Beef O'Brady's Bowl. That is the projection. However, it very well could end up changing based on the result of today's game against the Troy Trojans. We're going to look to win this one. I will show you guys recruiting. I do want to see the stats, though, before we go any further. So as you can see, rating, Jason Perry was great when he played. Uh, Colby Spencer has had a good year, in my opinion. 2,500 yards passing, 18 touchdowns, 10 picks. Could be better. Pedro Goddard, 6 touchdowns, 6 picks. But 1,000 yards as the backup quarterback. But where does Colby Spencer really give us an advantage? Right here. On the ground. Averaging 5.9 per carry. 138 attempts for 823 yards and five touchdowns. Scott Lewis has been all right. Darren Maxwell has really been our best running back as a pure runner. But Scott Lewis is so fast, so good out of the backfield that he has been our guy and will continue to be our guy. He actually leads our team in receptions with 49 for 370, two touchdowns. But our best receiver by far has been Rob Gaither. Just behind him in terms of catches, 900 yards, 7 touchdowns. Jake Rodriguez has been awesome as well. Roland Francisco has played well. He's really our speed burner kind of guy. As you can see, his average is incredible. Karan Kirkpatrick's been solid for what he does. Ryan Muller, he gets involved. And then Quincy Rust. This guy is just streak tight end. And if he's open, he's getting the ball. And he makes some really nice plays. 7 catches for 179. I mean, that's pretty unbelievable. As far as blocking goes, uh, Siegel, our right tackle, has been our worst offensive lineman, allowing uh, plenty of sacks. But the interior, for the most part, has been very good. And then defensively, Jarvis Blankenship currently leads our team in tackles. We're going to be missing him uh, next year as he's a senior. He will be graduating. So we're going to miss that. We have a lot of seniors. Lightning McQueen is leaving us. Tariq Parrish will be leaving us. Byron Fulton is leaving us. He's been a huge player in this series. We do have a bunch of young players. Derek Higgins, Sandoval Slaughter ready to step up. Dante Jean is leaving. Who else? Ron Wilkerson is gone. We have a lot of players. Simeon Petty's been incredible for us, this franchise. This dynasty, I should say. Quarterback sacks, Daryl Bradford currently leads. Seven sacks from the interior. And Sandoval Slaughter had these four over like a two-game span, but has been inconsistent, although good. Daryl Bradford really has been incredible, and he's only a freshman. Interceptions, Chris Outlaws, too. We generally do not get too many of these. So uh, that is where it is, and we force uh, no fumbles, clearly. None on the entire series. Lightning McQueen with the sole defensive touchdown. And I will show you guys recruiting. We are in a very interesting situation. We have a new commitment and new developments. Mike Marshall will visit today, and he is pretty much locked up to become an Ozark State Outlaw. Kirby Johnson, same deal. We can even take away some of these points and just go all in on Kirby Johnson. We don't really need them. Tony Gates, all but going to become an Ozark State Outlaw. Close on Dan Atkinson, and he's a player that I would like to get. Good speed, good hit power at safety. Somewhat difficult to come by. Andy Curry will be an Ozark State Outlaw. I can guarantee you that from what it looks like right now. Omar Williams. We have jumped up into the lead. A huge development on him. He's a really good player. He has been the highlight of this entire recruiting season 
And it looks like only AM will try and get him over us. Big week last week. We got 900 points. So I like to see that. It's a shame we didn't get the win. That could have been even more points, I think. I'm not positive, but I think it could have been. And we're really just trying to edge out the Aggies. Andrew Cummings, we're in a close battle with. Andrew Birdley, it looks like we might get. Caleb Tate, close battle. Charles Pettit, close battle. Albert Johnson, we're trying to get in the game for these guys. These two defensive ends that we found. Three-star players that are actually pretty sick. Two gems. I particularly want Albert Johnson. 89 finesse moves. Are you kidding me? 89 as a freshman? Don't know if we're going to be able to get him. Would really, really like to be in the conversation. Because that is a game changer at defensive end if we can get him. Today on the schedule, we got Troy. They're pretty good. Their record shows it. We got to beat them. We don't have to, but I'd like to. I'd like to win. We are still at four uh, in the rankings for the Sun Belt. A couple of losses have really hurt our stock to Western Kentucky and South Alabama in the past couple of episodes. Troy is sitting up at the top, and we could play spoiler with a victory today. Hand it off to Scott Lewis to start things off, and it was an exceptional idea because he has some space. There's a juke move, and he is down at the 30. 48-yard rush to start things off here at the saloon at Dual Field here in Ozark, Louisiana. It's a made-up place, but it's, it doesn't matter. That's open over the middle. Give me a good block. That would have been nice, but I'll take the first down. First down, triple option. Uh, that is a pitch to no one. And uh, I don't know if you guys do remember, if you knew here. I do suck at the game. Idiot. What am I doing? Silver is trying to take off. And he is subdued in the backfield. I like that. Devin Robeson on the sack. Third and six. Trying to play over the middle. It's nearly intercepted by Higgins. But he drops it. Come on, Derek. So we couldn't capitalize on the last offensive uh, series. Despite the huge plays. <laughs> but we also didn't allow any points to Troy. So fresh slate. Just more time off the clock. We're going to capitalize this time. Third and five. Someone's got to get open. We're going to check down to Scott Lewis as we like to do. He's breaking all sorts of tackles. Rolling out with Spencer. We have space up the middle and he's ankle tackled from behind. Very unlucky. Trying to get it going with him early. Not really finding too much success. Love Scott Lewis on that. This is why he gets so many catches. He's just opening the flat. And it's easy yards after reception. That's open. Complete to Rob Gaither. 11-yard pickup. That's open quickly. Rob Gaither drops the ball. Come on, Rob. First incompletion of the day for Colby. Third and four. We're rolling out. Looking for something. We got space. No. Stopped just short of the first down. Man, nothing really looked open there. And we are going to go for it. Fourth and one. Something's going to be open. It's Scott Lewis. First down. First and goal. That's got to be a touchdown. Colby Spencer walks in. How are you not going to throw a flag on that? Unnecessary roughness. He's in the end zone by 10 steps before he got touched. Come on. That's going to be a big gain. It could have been. Dude, they are all screens all the time here at Troy. We have no answer. Get after him. Silvers goes down. That was a safety blitz. Jarvis Blankenship. That's a big play. And they're going to get the first down. Oh, they noticed I was going to hit stick or hit stick, and they just kind of swerved around it. I like that. It's my favorite. 
Oh, I just feel like it's a magnet every time I try to go after the running back, pushing me away. I said I liked it. I was lying. I hate it. It's a speed option, and we can't touch the quarterback. Is he going to get back up and score? Okay. No, just so we're on the same page. I was. I just wanted to make sure that's what was happening. Just so we're on the same page. Let's watch it again. So we tackle him, uh, but we actually don't tackle him because he just he stands right back up and goes to the end zone because tackling doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if he went down. Going over the middle linebacker. Complete to all reliable. Rob Gaither. Really want to go to Gaither. We're going to settle for that, though. Wow, what a play by Doug Salter. I thought for sure we had the tight end, Jake Rodriguez. Colby Spencer throwing a pretty great game so far today. Nine for uh, oh, 10 or 11, call. something like that. That's open on second and 10, complete to Rob Gaither who holds on through traffic. What's new? I know he has a drop this game. Not not really a drop so much as a, an incompletion where he was the target. We're stepping up. Give me blocks. We're just going to slide, actually. Really want to avoid injury today. We got that one over the middle. Complete to Ryan Muller inside the 10. Picking up 22. And off goes to Scott Lewis. Jukes back across. Ankles broken. Scott Lewis, touchdown. We put up another seven here with 38 seconds to go left in the first half. It's going to be tough for the Trojans to answer. Hopefully we, uh, you know, stop them from answering. And we get the ball to start the second half, I believe. So we can really start to pour it on. Silver's going to get sacked. Big 99. Guess who? Daryl Bradford. No one should be surprised. This is the best defensive player on our team. I know we were kind of trying to decide it for a while. Was it Chris Outlaw? Was it even Derek Higgins as a freshman who made some big plays? Was it a safety? Was it Jarvis Blankenship or Byron Fulton? Jeff Fisher had a great year. Simeon Petty's been great. Ron Wilkerson's played pretty well over the course of this series. But no, the best player on the defense by far is Daryl Bradford. What a year for him. That's sack number eight. Silver's going to take off to end the first half. All right. Oh, no, we kick off to start the second half. Unlucky. Unlucky. No way. What a throw. John Johnson. Got to love the creativity from the parents there. Big first down. Wow, that's an, that's an unbelievable uh, throw and catch. What is that? I hate these animations badly sometimes. See, like, look, look at the safety animation there. What is that? That's so bad. It's an easy touchdown. I'd even switch on. See, look, look at what he does here. Just runs right around him. How did Daryl Bradford even get back for that? That's wide open. Scott Lewis. We're just going to step out down the sideline. That's intercepted by Weatherspoon. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm still bad. I'm still making bad throws. I thought that one was just going to be open. And it didn't get open. Throw that ball. No, why would you? Ah. I wish they would have realized that I had taken. I had switched. Because he wasn't taking that route, and that would have been a huge completion. Very annoying. To screen, did not read it well. And he's going to bob and weave and pick up a first down. That's wide open. Thankfully, he fell down because he sucks. To run, get off the block. He's going to run. Wrap him up. Okay. Nope. But somebody else did. I think it's Sandoval Slaughter and Ron Wilkerson. It's going to count as a sack. Fourth and six. 
They're going to try for the field goal, and I can guarantee you they make it. Going to make it 17-14, as uh, we were in control, I feel, and we've just kind of not been playing that well. Open over the middle. It's rolling Francisco. He's going to break a tackle as well. Picking up the first down. We're going to move into the hurry up just for a moment. Try to capitalize before the third quarter comes to an end. Open down the sideline. We got it. Karan Kirkpatrick. Big first down. We're going to move into the hurry up again. I wanted Francisco. We're going to go for the run though. Look at the juke and the slide and the fumble. The slide never happened. I don't know if you guys... Why did I not just slide right away? These are these are great questions. <laughs> these are great questions. Uh, yeah, these... <laughs> brutal. We're going deep. That's on the money for Muller. We're still in it. Someone get open. Move, move, move. Come on, move earlier. We played a pretty good game besides that, you know, a couple idiot plays. On the run, Spencer lobs it up for Karan Kirkpatrick. He's down to the one. We really have, though. I mean, Colby Spencer's 20 for 25 for 300 yards. No touchdowns and an interception. And Scott Lewis is short. We really just don't have a, a punch-it-in guy. We really don't. This is why we can't run the ball at the one. It's embarrassing. It's going to have to be play action here. And incomplete. What do we do? Down by 10. It's, we're at the 1. Not settling for a field goal. Darren Maxwell in the game. He's been a great runner for us. Handoff goes to him. And he scores a touchdown. We're back in it. Just a field goal game. Six minutes to play. Seven minute quarters is where we are. I didn't remember like last game, I think. Was it last game? I don't know. It might have been. That's wide open. Where is Derek Higgins? Oh, not in the same area code? Yeah. Shocker. Big tackle. Thank you. One person can't tackle anyone in this game for, you know, no yardage. They're always going to fight forward. It, it hurts. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. We need to hold it to a field goal here. Throw into the flat. Only a gain of one. We had nobody over there, really. So I tried to cover it myself. It somewhat worked. And it is third and five. Silvers, only three incompletions on the entire game. I would really, really like to be able to get a stop here. And, of course, we are in cover two, but that counts as a fumble, and we don't recover! Oh. My. God. Can I challenge the catch? It would... I'd love to be able to challenge the catch there. I wonder if that's possible. That's such... Oh, that's so frustrating. It would be challenging the fumble. Yeah, I want to do that. I don't know if it's glitched like it is in Madden, where they count that as a fumble, even when it clearly isn't. Like, that's not a fumble. That's an incompletion. It looks like a fumble when, he's, when you're watching it in slow motion like that. But that is not a fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Yeah, I mean, I knew it was going to stand, so we just lose a timeout for nothing there. It was a dumb challenge. I'm not going to say it wasn't. But that's, I mean, clearly, clearly, clearly not a fumble. Anyone would recognize that. And they throw that screen. We need to keep them out of the end zone. That's a big tackle. It's going to be third and one. We need to get in the backfield. And we need to stop them for a loss. That's going to require sending a lot of pressure. We're going to be sending a man blitz here. And I'm also going to be blitzing with Blankenship. It's going to be a read option. That's the best timed read option I've ever seen. What a play call. Can't even hate. We played the running back so hard. And the read option works to perfection. They scored in 40 seconds. 
That's okay, though. We're still in it. We just got to answer. Big juke from Outlaw. All right, return, I guess. It's been a close game. They've just scored more points. Uh, and I think it probably comes down to one or two mistakes where we've thrown a dumb interception, which I can't even remember, but I know is a stupid decision. Uh, and a fumble where I should have slid earlier. I tried to slide. It didn't let me. And that's got to be a catch, Rob Gaither. Thank you. Keeping us in the ball game, as you always seem to. Colby Spencer's been incredible. Again, it's been one play. One play that uh, I regret, really, uh, through the air. Of course, the fumble. What are you going to do? It was unfortunate. But they do happen when you... Uh, you play like I do, which is like a chicken with its head cut off with Colby Spencer. And when you're dealing with a chicken with its head cut off, eventually it's going to die. And that looks like, looks like the case for us today. However, the chickens take a while to die sometimes. I think it's like nine months or so, and we also take a long time to die. We're going to fight to the bitter end. Rob Gaither, touchdown. Yeah, review it. He got a foot down. Yeah, that's an easy catch. He got two. That's an NFL touchdown. Come on now. Everyone in the stadium could have told you that was a touchdown. Again, we're back in it. They are really content to let some time tick off the clock here. That's all right. There is still plenty of time. We just need to stop. But I think that means they're probably going to run the football. So we're going to bring Tariq Parrish up into the box here. Trying to get in the backfield. At least ate up a block. You got to make that open field tackle. Okay. Now, I don't really know what that was. It wasn't a tackle. I can tell you that much. I let the CPU do it because I always screw up. But as you can see, it doesn't matter. Just run the ball. Thank you. Blankenship. Big tackle. I am like, this has been happening. I have a controller from 2005. Actually, it's from 2009. I can tell you that for a fact. And the, the battery pack on the back is... It's seen better days. Third and six. Outlaws playing safety. Please run the ball. Please run the ball. At least gives us a chance. Um, what do we want to do here? I want to spread the linebackers. Pinch the defensive line. I'm, I'm just... Totally playing the run here. If they pass, I think it's pretty much a GG. They're going to pass. And it's nearly intercepted. Oh my God, Byron Fulton. That would have been huge. And they did pass. We just covered our bases. We still have a shot. Troy's going to convert here. It's going to be 28 to 34, meaning a touchdown and extra point would win the game. We're going to have two timeouts in a minute and 37 to get it done. Let's go. Let's end the season with a bang. Of course, we do have a bowl game, but this is the final regular season game. Let's go out on a high note at Dual Field, at the Saloon, in front of nearly 100,000 Ozark State fans. That's open. Gaither, love it. We're going to throw for like 400 yards today. Likely. We really are a, uh, a pass-heavy offense. Barely get that one off. Try to check down. Colby Spencer stepping up. What is happening? Slide! That's a ridiculous animation, by the way. I really want to go back in a replay. So we're going to very briefly. Very briefly. Look at this. Looking for something to get open. Nothing is, clearly. Step up in the pocket. What is happening at left tackle? What is what is what is that? What explained? <laughs> Unbelievable. It's open over the middle. It's Ryan Muller. He's inside the 30. As we come very close to entering the red zone. Chris Spielman, if you guys know him, ex uh college and NFL linebacker. He says the red zone's anything inside the 30. He doesn't care what the world thinks. So, he is, of course, a maniac. But, uh... 
Yeah, that, that's really all there is. I just wanted an excuse to make fun of him. So that's what this is. He is a maniac and an insane person and a psycho. All synonyms. Use whichever you please. All are applicable. Second and four. Oh, get there. Scott Lewis. We're going to call a timeout. I just need a little bit of time to think about what comes next. I'll tell you what comes next. Touchdown. That's what comes next. Who does it go to? Rob Gaither, you say? Incoming blitz. Incoming rollout. Incoming dump off. Nope. Couldn't get it. I'm glad we had a lot of time there to think about our next move. The vertical style offense just works the best for us. It's not crazy. There's not much else to say. We're going to try that. We're going to roll out as I like to do. And we are going to find an option. Um, here's the kink in the plan there. Scott Lewis stepped right out of bounds. So, of course, when a receiver goes out of bounds like that, makes him uh, ineligible. So... That sucked. Wait, wait, okay. No, I don't want that. Let's reset this. And it's probably going to be Rob Gaither, I guess. We have Francisco. What is going on? That's how the game ends. A bad throw. That's so frustrating. He didn't even get a chance. Look at this BS. We have him beat. Clearly, there is space here. When do I throw the ball? Right there. Look at this. All you need is a good throw, and it's it's an end zone. Touchdown. He overthrows him by a mile. That's the easiest interception he's going to get. That's such a bad way to end the game. Booth, what are you going to review? Whether it's a bad throw or not, I can already tell you the ruling on the field stands. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. It's unfortunate. So that is a super unfortunate way to end our regular season. It's unfortunate that uh, we couldn't walk away with the win. It ended up being that mistakes cost us. And Colby Spencer is a, is a beast sometimes, and he's terrible other times. Which is uh, frustrating to say the least, but I mean... That's just the way it is. He's a uh, college player. There will be inconsistencies in their game. And uh, clearly, with him, there are. He should be back for another season at Ozark State, though, as he is only a junior. No, he's a sophomore. Could be even be back for two seasons. I thought he was a, uh, a junior. But uh, no, he's only a sophomore. So we're going to have him, hopefully, for two more seasons after this. He's only a 79 overall. He will be better. He'll come back better than ever. We finished six and six, a marketable, uh, a remarkable improvement on last season. But that will do it for me, guys. Let's actually let's actually advance the conference championship first, because we're not making it. So of course this is a bye week, but we're gonna advance the ball season. And uh, if you stay until this long, you'll get to see what this matchup's gonna be. I think we do qualify at, at, at uh, six and six, right? So any bull bursts that become eligible when a conference fails to meet its contracted tie-ins must first be filled by any eligible seven win teams before any remaining FBS six and six teams can be accommodated. So it's not a certainty, but I think we will be qualifying for a bowl. Demario McCall wins the Heisman, upsetting Duke Catalan at the last moment. That's a fun, fun one. Not for Duke Catalan, obviously, but Oh, man, we didn't qualify for a bowl. That's brutal. All right, guys, that was the uh, official end of season number two. The loss made us not bowl eligible in season two. That is brutal. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Next time, we're going to do the off season. I might even stream it on Twitch, although... Uh, That'll be a game timer. I might just do it now because I'm enjoying this series so much. I might just want to record it. We will have to see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.
Take it easy.